I really want to show you an animal that I've had since I was two years old. I'm 33 years old, which makes him 31. I was born in 1988. I got this animal in 1990 from a local pet store with my father. We walked into the pet store and naturally any 80s baby that was raised in the late 80s to throughout the 90s loved Ninja Turtles. They were the craze. I had bed sheets, stickers on my walls, all the action figures, all the movies, all the cartoons, all the VHS tapes, I had it all. Um, naturally, I could have named him Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, but I named him Ninja. And I'm sure you've guessed, it's a turtle. Again, I've had him since I was two years old. My dad thought it would be a good idea to walk into the pet store. We saw this little red-eared slider that was no larger than the size of a loony. We walked into the pet store, we saw the red-eared slider, we talked to the lady. The lady said to my father, their life expectancy is roughly about 10 to 15 years in captivity. My father thought, no problem. I'm a responsible pet owner, him, not me, I was too. Let's get this red-eared slider. We thought it'd be a great idea. And it was a great way for my father and I to bond even more because at a young age, he instilled the love of animals into me and it's specifically aquatic species. So we bring this red-eared slider home and I named him Ninja. Now that he's 31 years old, it's a pretty remarkable story because I can sit back and my daughter who is two and my son who is five, they can play with the same animal that I played with when I was two and three years old. Obviously he's grown a ton. And when I look on YouTube, I truthfully don't see anything about red-eared sliders on there that are old, that are over 25, 30 years old. There are very few of them and they're very bland and basic. I really wanna show you him today and show you just how much of a commitment that they really are. This isn't to deter anybody from getting a red-eared slider. I know some provinces in Canada, um, you can't have them. Other provinces, you can. I'm in Ontario, you can own a red-eared slider. I don't know about the US, but I'd love to show you my red-eared slider and just show you how much of a commitment that they truly are and what a remarkable species of animal that they are. Um, let's go take a look at them now. everybody so this is ninja ninja is 31 years old he's a red-eared slider um this is this is him this is the animal that my dad got me when i was two years old and i've kept him my entire life he's went everywhere with me from school uh different homes my first apartment uh my second my third my fourth my first house um he's been here the entire way um he's escaping me right now um he's trying to climb up on me he's not shy um he's over 31 years obviously gotten used to people quite a bit um for a lot of turtles um he may not be that old specifically tortoises um, but for red-eared slider he is considered old um he is 31 he's doing very well um basic care requirements um he eats veggies he eats obviously turtle pellets um he eats the odd fish um dead um frozen specifically um he does very well um he plays with the kids um he obviously doesn't mind human interaction once he's out from about five ten minutes the first five or ten minutes he's pretty scared but other than that he is a good animal um the one thing i can truly tell you about um turtles specifically red-eared sliders is they are considered an invasive, invasive species to Ontario where people let them go. The problem is with letting, a go, uh, letting go a red-eared slider in a province like Ontario, it gets cold. Red-eared sliders cannot survive winter months. Some say they've been known to adapt, but truthfully, I don't think that they'll make it. 
uh, places like Florida and other areas like that, they'll be able to live outside all year round. In the summertime, his enclosure is actually inside, inside and outside. He has a massive tub outside where he goes in the daytime and at night he goes into his night enclosure. Um, but in the winter months, obviously it's cold. I'm in Ontario, Canada, and today it's minus 28 uh, Celsius. Um, he, he stays inside. Um, he goes into a large tub inside. It's roughly about 160 gallons um, and it's um, deep. So his measurements, um, he's about, um, with his head sprawled right out, he's about 12 inches. Uh, um, he's about a foot long. Um, he's heavy. Um, I would say he's roughly, um, 10 pounds. I, I'm terrible with weight. I truthfully don't know. Um, but he is large. Um, he's a big turtle. Um, the females get a lot larger than the males. Um, they're known to get larger than the males, but he is a male. Uh, other than that, he's uh, pretty easy to care for. Um, I mean, I've had him for 31 years. By longest uh, animal I've ever owned by a long shot and the longest I'll probably ever own. He is very special to me, obviously. Um, he's very special to my family and still to my father to this day because um, I still I still have him. Um, he's never bitten me. Um, he's, um, he's tried when he was younger, um, but he won't bite. Um, if he thinks there's food there, if he smells food, he might get a little interested in, in bite. Um, he's nipped at my clothing before if something catches his eye. Other than that, he's pretty careful. But if he did bite me, um, he would hurt extremely bad. Um, I'd rather get bit by uh, piranhas than I would him. Um, he has a plate on the front of his mouth right here. Um, and those plates are very strong. Um, he is a very strong turtle. If he decides to bite you, you will feel it. Um, he's on my uh, dinner table right now, so I got to clean it after before my wife kills me. But other than that, he is doing very well. Um, I would say to anybody that's going to get a red-eared slider to definitely do your research on them. Um, they need a basking area. They need uh, uh, twice their height in, dive, in, in depth of water. They need a lot of gallons. You're water changing once a week. Um, full water changes, mind you, and um, because they create a lot of waste. Um, and if you don't change it, you'll smell it. Um, it stinks. Um, other than that, their water conditions can be pretty, they're pretty normal. Like they can survive uh, lots of water conditions. Um, you know, I do put a water conditioner when I do change his water, but uh, it's some say it's not needed. I don't like the fact that chlorine and chloramines in his water. Um, if it's not good for fish, he's an aquatic animal. Um, it's not good for him. Um, but he does do very well. And again, he's very special to me. I would say if you're going to get one, again, realize that you might have this animal for a very long time. I mean, he's 31 years old and he's doing extremely well. He's got a lot of life in him. He moves around. He's very quick for a turtle um, and he's powerful. Um, he's got a, he, I'd say, I'm hoping to get another 10, 15 years out of him. Uh, the oldest known living red-eared slider from what I've seen online, and again, maybe somebody can put in the comments something if I'm wrong, is um 41 for if i'm not mistaken that's the guinness world record um so you know i'm i really haven't seen anything about it the oldest one i found on youtube i think was 33 and he was like all swollen he had some disease he was very sick um ninja has actually been very good um he's never gotten sick there will be times where he fasts um, different water parameters will cause it, um, and um, the temperature of the water will cause him to fast. Um, but other than that, 
he is very good. He's a healthy eater, and he, again, he eats a ton. Um, he does very well. He's got natural rocks, obviously, in his uh, enclosure. Uh, his basking area is all rock. Um, one day, I will um, show everybody just uh, where he lives and, uh, and uh, how he lives, but he does very well. Um, I will most likely show you guys in the summertime so you can kind of see both of his enclosures and you can kind of see where he goes in the daytime and in the summer where it gets uh, 30 degrees Celsius outside or hotter. Um, and uh, the winter time I'll show you, uh, sorry, at night I'll show you where he lives and all throughout the winter. Um, he does need require UVB. Uh, he does require a basking light. He loves it hot. Um, his water temperature, he's not that picky. Um, I've had his water temperature 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I've had it, uh, 55. That's cold. Um, but he doesn't need a heater, um, in his water. The basking light in, you know, the temperature of my house, it, uh, it keeps it, uh, pretty warm to his liking. Um, there's days where he'll bathe all day, uh, sorry, sunbathe or bask all day. And there are times where, um, he won't bask for two or three days. Um, so it, it's very, very odd, very different, but he is a great animal. And I figured I would show YouTube a 31 year old red eared slider. He is a great animal. As you can see, he is just incredible. I'm so happy that I got to spend the last 31 years with him and I'm hoping I get another 31 years. Um, I know I won't. I know his life um, expectancy in captivity should be ending. Well, truthfully, I don't know. But uh, from what I've read in captivity, they live up to 25 years. So, I mean, um, clearly, clearly not. He's 31 and they've seen one that's lived 41 years. I think, again, correct me if I'm wrong on the Guinness uh, World Records, but uh, he's incredible. He's a great animal. And I'm so happy I've got to spend, again, the last 31 years with him. And I'm so happy my kids can play with him. And again, when I got him, he was the size of a loony. He was very small. So you can clearly see how old a red-eared slider truly gets. Um, they are a lifelong commitment. They do carry salmonella, um, so that's one thing I can tell you about red-eared sliders. Um, when you do handle them, wash your hands. Um, he has been fed live food before when he was younger, um, but at the end of the day, um, I just wash my hands when I'm done playing with him, and I teach my kids to do the same. And we wash our hands before we play with him because anything on our hands could make him sick. And we don't want that. He's an old boy. He's considered a senior in the red-eared slider uh, uh, age. And um, I just... Um, I wanted to show you him. There's his tail. Tucks it in when he gets a little uh, worried. But he'll quickly poke it out there. There it comes. He is huge. And he is clearly coming to me right now. Um, he's very interested in my shirt. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's just because of the texture, it's black, I, I truthfully don't know, but as you can see, he loves people. He, um, when I'm walking around my house, he will follow me around when I take him out of his enclosure and get him to get some exercise, um, he will walk around the house. I have a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and uh, my, my, uh, my dog loves him, he gets along with him as well. Um, as you can see, there's his bottom. So this is an injury roughly about three or four years ago, and it has healed since on the bottom here. But as you can see, just how big he is. He is old. So that's it, everybody. I thought I'd show everybody my red-eared slider, and you all get to see a 31-year-old red-eared slider. This is probably my most prized animal that I've ever had, and I probably ever will have, um, would be Ninja, my red-eared slider that I've had since I was two years old. So if anybody's looking to get one, just remember, this is what you're dealing with.
but it's pretty remarkable and it's very rewarding. So there we go, everybody. Everybody's seen my red eared slider. He's 31 years old. I'm just glad I've kept him all of these years and I haven't given him up. He is a lifelong commitment and I'm just happy to still have him to this day and where my kids and myself can enjoy him. So that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It is a new growing channel and I greatly appreciate it. See you later until next time.